So on impact, when the truck fell through the middle of my body, at that point, I just called out and I said, oh, Lord, help me. When my heart stopped right then, my spirit left my body. I went up the roof of the garage and I'm at like 14, 15, 16 feet, just inside the roof of the garage. And I go from this horrible pain to feeling complete, perfect peace. I'm looking down, I can see the accident scene. And I was so disconnected from the accident scene that I didn't even know that guy on the truck was me. So I'm just watching it all happen. And so Leonard is there crying, but on each side of him, he's on his knees. And on each side of him were angels on their knees, eight feet tall, very big muscular men with white, shining robes, emanating light. They had really long hair. It went all the way down their back to where the belt was on the robe. The one from the driver's side puts his hands in the middle of the flat spot, then the one from the passenger side did it. And this two month old baby Christian prayed me back to life three times. And I didn't want to come back. The helicopter takes me to Madison, Wisconsin, our state's biggest trauma center. They operated on me all night, or quite a long time. The head guy got called in from home. He finished up and he came out and he told my wife, he said, in all my years of running the trauma center, he said, I have never, ever seen a body so badly traumatized and the person make it to the hospital alive. He said, your husband must have one hell of a will to fight. He said, but I don't expect him to live through the hour. Cross your fingers. He was an atheist at that time. And my wife told him, I'm not gonna cross my fingers. I'm gonna pray. My testimony is simply a testimony, a story of God's mercy and God's grace, nothing to do with me. It's all about him. And I just wanna share that with other people that no matter how messed up they are like I am, he still hears us, he still loves us. And when we pray, uh, he answers.